it easily pours out of the bottle. And it is pre-mixed, like I said, um, with pouring medium. So if you are brand new to pouring and um, paint pouring, that um, pouring medium is very important. If you just take acrylic paint and you pour it on a canvas, it's gonna get muddy and blend together. So you always wanna have pouring medium. And the great thing about this kit is that we've already mixed the paint and the pouring medium together. So there's no um, mixing your two parts together. Again, it's a really convenient kit. It's got beautiful colors. There is white, bright pink, yellow, green, and aqua so a beautiful range and you can also mix these to make custom colors you can also use this with our folk art pouring medium and, and our apple barrel pouring medium with your folk art and apple barrel paint so you can make your own custom colors as well and it all works together when you're pouring so we've got this great set available on walmart.com tamara is answering questions in the chat while we are live so if you have any questions please feel free to ask and she's also going to post the link so you can purchase this product We've got a lot of really great surfaces, again, available at Walmart. We've got um, also Mod Podge resin, which is brand new, that works great hand in hand with pouring because you can use it as a top coat and you can pour with it. So I just wanted to mention that. We're not gonna get the resin out today because that's a whole nother process, but you definitely wanna check out Mod Podge resin, again, available um, at walmart.com. It is um, a brand new from one of our iconic brands, Mod Podge resin. It's a two-part resin system, and it works really well with pouring to complete your projects, to seal them, to give them just that extra high gloss shine. So you definitely wanna check this out, and Tamara can go ahead and also post that link for you. So, um, like I said, the great thing about premix is that there's no mixing unless you want a custom color. So I'm just going to do some fun techniques just to, you know, show you exactly what you can do um, with the premix pouring. We have got a great video on Walmart.com. It's um, a lengthier video that talks, gets really into the details of this product. So you definitely want to check that out also. Again, walmart.com is like your one-stop shop. So you've got your inspiration, you've got your product, you could pick up your surfaces and craft. So really excited about that. So my other supplies that I have are, I have some clear thumbtacks or push pins. So um, there's a big debate what we call these, but these are flat back push th pins or thumbtacks. And we're gonna use these to hold our surfaces off of our our surfaces off of our pan that we're pouring into. I also have some disposable and regular baking sheets. So I just want to show you. I craft with these, so don't bake these on them after you've poured, but this is a great non-stick baking pan. You can also use the disposable ones. Um, the paint won't stick to it. So these are great to have when you're pouring. And you also want to protect your workspace, but I love to have these to move the um, paintings around in. I've got plastic cups, so you can use silicone or plastic cups. Um, these are just kind of at cocktail size. You can go smaller or larger, so it's always great to have a variety of sizes depending on the size of your surface or canvas that you're pouring on. I also have some craft or popsicle sticks, so these are to stir with if you were going to stir and make a custom color. And I'm going to be using some silicone to show you how to get cells. So I have that. I also have some baby wipes and some other fun tools that we're going to use just to show you um, some techniques. So, um, and we're going to talk about paint skins. So paint skins, this is what is left over after you pour. So this was a project that we poured on a baking pan. You can use also parchment paper or a silicone mat because the paint's not going to stick. Once it's dry, you can literally pull this up and you're creating sheets of paint. And then you can cut this and mold it and create mixed media. You can wrap it around 3D objects. I have some rocks back here that it's great to wrap around. So it's, um, it stretches, it's pliable. You can run this through your electronic cutting machine. You could use a stencil and trace out a letter or a shape and really personalize your project. So these are paint skins. And again, that's why I love those baking pans because you just let your paint dry and then you can pull this up and you have a whole nother project and craft to do. And this also works great with Mod Podge. So you can use Mod Podge, multiple formulas, whether it's your matte, gloss, satin, outdoor, um, Mod Podge Ultra to adhere this to your surface. So cut this out and you can use Mod Podge to adhere it because it's your all-in-one glue and sealer. So you can definitely also get that at Walmart. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a baking pan here. 
and I have already um, added my push pins to my canvas, so I'm just going to be using a canvas for this first one. And again, we've just popped a pin or a thumbtack right into the corner of each one of these. Okay, and then flip that over, and that's what we're going to pour on. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to do a fun technique. So we always do like our traditional pour. So I'm going to actually use a balloon in this one. So just a fun, different way to do and get a different result. So this is just a regular like party latex balloon. Nothing special. I blew it up just a little. You could use a water balloon that's smaller, easier. So I have a balloon. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put, start putting the pouring medium on my canvas. So I am going to... I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna start with this aqua. So you wanna give it a little bit of a shake. You can also roll it so there's no bubbles, but give it a shake. And again, these caps are so great because you can pour it straight from the bottle. So you can use your plastic cups to make custom colors or you can pull, pour straight from the bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour four circles on here. And you can see, so this is a different consistency than our typical and traditional folk art. So folk art is really rich and creamy when it comes out of the bottle. So premix pouring paint is thinner because it has that pouring medium already in it and you need that so it is fluid and it moves around your canvas. So definitely the texture is different, you will notice that. Then I'm gonna take green and I'm going to layer right into my circle. So I'm like doing four big dots. I'm gonna grab some white. Again, I love this kit. So it's the Folk Art Premix Pouring Acrylic Paint Set. That's a mouthful, but I know Tamara is gonna be putting the link for you guys um, in the comments because you can just pick this up and have four awesome colors to pour with and play around with and paint with. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some white in between my four circles here. And it's okay if it gets on your pan, remember. That's why we have that, we're protecting our workspace. It is non-toxic and washes up when it's wet with soap and water. So you are absolutely, you know, wear gloves if you're worried about, you know, paint getting on your hands, but um, it's easier when we're doing video. And again, it's super easy clean up with soap and water, but definitely wear an apron, protect your workspace, especially if you're working with the kiddos. Okay, so I'm gonna swirl this. And again, because we use those thumbtacks, it makes it easier to swirl. Okay, so you see that gliding, so I just kind of did that abstract, and then I'm going to take my balloon, and I'm going to actually use it to create, I'm just going to kind of wipe off the edge, so if you can see, we're creating, and I'm just pouncing and wiping right into there, I'm making a mess here, so you can see that technique that you get, so it's actually creating like a starburst. I'm just wiping the excess paint right off onto my baking pan because remember that's going to create your uh, your paint skin when you're done. So I'm getting this beautiful swirl and it's basically picking up the paint that's on the top layer and revealing. So you can see you couldn't see blue before but by pressing that in it's giving you a starburst pattern and lifting the paint up. So the harder you press, the bigger of a shape you'll get, and you can see that color really come through underneath. So that's a lot of green. So that's a really fun technique to do. So you can see you got all those awesome bursts of color. Just grabbing some baby wipes, so I hope you guys can see that. Um, you can see that. So just a really fun technique, so beautiful. It looks like flowers, like Hawaiian flowers. So you could do this and then you could go back and even paint on top of it and add details. So it gives that beautiful burst of color and reveals the paint underneath. Because when I poured this, you couldn't really see that blue, but that aqua that I put down first really shows through. So again, a fun technique. There's so many things you can do with this. And we are talking, if you're just joining us, we're talking about folk art pre-mixed pouring paint. So we've got a five piece set. It is white, yellow, a bright pink, aqua, and green, available at walmart.com. Tamara's answering questions, and she's gonna be popping links in for you. Um, it works great with a ton of our different surfaces. We've got our Mod Podge resin that you can always use to pour with and also seal your projects and add that extra shine and protection, so I love that. 
Um, and we've got our paint skins that you can create, and then that is a whole other project that you can make by that leftover paint. So again, love this. I'm just gonna move it aside. I'm gonna put it on the back here and let it dry. Okay, so I wanna talk about wood surfaces. So we make these actually great wood panels, also available at Walmart. We've got um, two different sizes. They are wood panels. You can use them the front or back of them. I love that they're so versatile. Um, I'm gonna grab my big tray because the sky is really big. Okay, so, and you can see, these are leftover paint skins. I wanted you guys to see these. So these are leftover paint skins. And again, they just peel up and then you have sheets of paint. So you can see we pulled off the big piece. So when you get to the end, they stick a little bit. But again, this is what you can craft with. So all you need to do is, you know, grab your round surface. For example, um, here's this pot here. And all you would need to do is you could trim this out and decoupage um, using Mod Podge right onto your round surface. So love that idea. And we can talk more about that. Okay, so I just grabbed my big pan. I've got my wood surface. Again, I'm going to use my thumbtacks. I'm going to stick it right in the back. And these thumbtacks aren't going to ruin your surface, so you don't need to worry about that. And I love these surfaces because, again, you can pour on the front or the back of them, so it almost creates like a shadow box if you want to say you're using the back. The front is just smooth. Okay, so I love this tray that you kind of create because you can pour on it, and then this looks like a frame when you're done, so you could either leave it raw because natural wood is a great look right now, or you could trim it out with a metallic or a contrasting color. So that's ready to go. And I am actually going to um, do a dirty pour into this one. Actually, I'm going to grab my hair dryer and do a pour for this one. So I am going to use my aqua. And I'm going to pour right down the center. I'm sorry, that was green. I'm going to grab aqua. I'm just going to use all the colors. I just want to show you how beautiful they are. We'll put some yellow in this one also. So again, all the colors work so well together. And then, like I said, if you want to create a custom color, you can. So you could just take, if you want to do a purple, take, take your aqua. Something is jammed on this lid. Give me a second here. So take your aqua and take your bright pink. And what you could do is you can mix these together to create your very own custom color. So now we're making purple. So again, very basic color mixing, but there you have, so now there's your six shades. So that's why I love this kit so much that you can get purple, you know, we can do an orange with our pink and our yellow also. You can also mix it with the white. So if you want a lighter shade, so we can do a tonal pour after this to show you guys what I'm talking about. So again, just from f these five colors, this is a really pretty coral I got here. So again, it's really kind of like endless what you can get. So I'm just going to add this coral. And some purple. That's a really pretty purple. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some white. And I'm just filling in white. And again, I love that lip that it kind of stays in there. And then I'm just going to grab my hair dryer. So this is just an everyday hair dryer. I'm going to put it on cool. So you want to make sure you use it on cool. And always start off on low. You can definitely up the power, but start off on low, especially if you haven't done this before because you don't want to end up with paint everywhere. And I am using this concentrator. So this is just an attachment that comes with your hair dryer. So we're going to use the concentrator to blow the paint around. So I'm just going to show you guys. Again, it just creates that beautiful, this looks like a tie-dye now. So if you're like, oh, I have too much white, you could absolutely go back and even add more paint or move your paint around. You can see that 
that movement, I'm watching it on the screen. you have so that just created that beautiful tie-dye effect and I love doing that because then the paint is all contained in this you let this dry and then you can use this as the actual frame so again you can leave it natural you can paint it white black or gold but again I want to lift this so you guys can see so it's so beautiful and, and I used a lot of colors you could definitely do a more consistent color palette and you can see we're starting to get some cells in there so it's really pretty so again, another great fun technique using our folk art premix pouring medium. Okay, so next I am going to show you guys some silicone, how to get some really chunky cells. So I'm going to go ahead and use, um, this is another surface that we have. We have a wood round surface. I'm going to stick my um, thumbtacks right in here. Again, we've got so many great wood surfaces, and I love that you can just purchase this all on walmart.com, have it shipped right to you. It's a great kit, whether you're a beginner. It's a great boredom buster for the summer, especially with teens and tweens. And again, we've got a great class available on walmart.com. So um, lots of great information and inspiration. So I've got my wood round surface. Um, again, this works so great on 3D and 2D objects. And I am going to use some silicone, and I'm actually going to use, you could use a palette knife, a popsicle craft stick, or um, this is just a scrap piece of wood, and we're actually going to scrape the paint. So I'm going to show you how you do that. I'm going to keep, um, I'm going to use some more of this purple, and then I'm actually going to do, I'll show you, you can use the white to create lighter colors. So I'm going to pour some white in here. And so what you can do is actually create a lighter green. So again, so many different colors. So if you just wanted an entirely green pour, all you would need to do is add more white to your green and, and keep one of the green solid. So you could get you know multiple different colors if you wanted more of like a monochromatic look. So I've got this really pretty pastel green and that's just mixing the white and the green. I still have this purple that we mixed up. I'll go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to add some white to this orange to make it more like a coral color. So there, how fast just transform that. And again, this is out of five colors. So I love the fact that you can really personalize this. So, you know, it's great to be able to use our pouring medium and mix with your own paints with our Folk Art or Apple Barrel. But I love that this is pre-mixed and you can just change it up and change all your colors. Okay, so I've got some great pastels here. Um, let's also do a blue. We're gonna, I'm going to do a lighter blue shade. I'm going to pull this off because for some reason I think the seal is stuck. And I'm going to just add some white. Okay. So again, just a really pretty pastel color. And pastels are really trendy right now. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, go ahead and coat this in white. I don't have a lot of paint, so I'm just going to swirl this a little bit just to get it started on here. I'm running out of white paint. So that's okay. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put silicone in my blue. So I'm going to just do a couple drops of silicone. right into my paint. And again, it's clear, so it's not going to change your paint when it's mixing. So you want to mix that really well. And you don't need to put it in all your colors. You just want to go ahead and put it in one of the colors. And then we're going to pour this. So I'm just going to do a clean pour. And a clean pour is when you just pour your colors out of your bottle or your cup without mixing them before. So I'm just going to do a traditional pour. And you guys, these colors are so pretty. Again, just really easy to create. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the blue. So the blue has the silicone in it. So the silicone creates cells, helps create cells in your pouring. And you'll see they'll start to form. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swirl this. 
And again, this is a wood surface. We pour directly onto it, and you can see the movement. And then we're going to start to see cells form. And so can you guys see, you want to get that movement. Okay, and add a little bit more green. And now I'm going to take, and like I said, you could use, we have a scrap of wood, an old gift card would work, a craft stick, anything. You want to just be able to scrape the paint off. So I'm going to go ahead and use this craft stick. And you can see here, because we put that silicone in, you start to see cells. And so it's a completely different look. So it's almost like more muted look that you get you guys can see that. So it's definitely a more muted look. And you can see the step, the cells that are forming from scraping that and the movement around. So that's really fun. Again, um, you can use this paint with silicone. You can um, use it with tools. It's just a really great basic pouring medium and you can do so much with it. So um, I'm going to pour on a couple rocks just to show you guys how easy it is to do 3D objects. I'm going to actually wrap one and I'm going to pour onto one. So again, this is the paint skin. So again, I'm just going to use this paint that we made up. I'm going to grab my tray. I'm going to do a couple rocks and then I have a strainer and one more surface to show you guys. It's just so much fun, everything that you can do. So. Again, you can pour directly on the rock or you could do a dirty pour onto the rock. So rocks are really trendy. Decorate your outdoor space. They're great to give as gifts or, you know, kind of leave them around. People are decorating their spaces with them and leaving them for people to find as surprises. So you can seal it with Mod Podge Ultra or Mod Podge Outdoor if you're going to pop it outdoors. So it's a great way to be able to preserve your art by protecting it with Mod Podge. Okay. So a dirty pour just means that you're pouring all your paint into a cup. And remember, it's not going to mix because it has the pour pouring medium in it. And then we're going to pour directly onto our rock. So you can see that. And then you would just let that dry. And then you would seal it if you're going to put it outside. So again, a great for paperweights. This would be cute for your home office. You could do larger ones and use them as bookends. You can attach a wire to them and use it as a picture holder. So again, beautiful marble, and that is a dirty pour. So a dirty pour is less graphic and it's more swirled. So these are just stones, big rocks, you know, find them outside, buy them, just make sure they're clean and dry, and then you can pour right onto them, seal them, and pop them outside. So this would be really cute just in your garden, um, just a way to add a pop of color to your outdoor space. So that is great, and then, I'm gonna do one more with a strainer. So again, another really fun technique. So I'm just gonna use an everyday household strainer. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys how to um, cover your rock in, and I poured on both of them. So all you would need to do is you would take your rock, you would trace out a piece of the skin. Again, this cuts so easily with scissors, with an X-Acto knife and you could wrap it around. So whatever object you have, you can literally wrap your paint skin around. I know that's just a bottle, but again, whether it's a clay pot, a terracotta pot, a rock, you can use it to um, you know, transform your project and really personalize it. You can stencil this, you can draw on it, so you could use a sharp, Sharpie or a paint marker, you could paint on it, and again, you would just use Mod Podge and you would adhere it right to your surface. So this is a great option with all your leftover paint. Okay, I'm gonna do one more pour for you guys. Another really fun one. So again, I'm just gonna use a canvas for this. And I'm gonna grab some new colors. And I'm just using an everyday household strainer. And what you can do is you can pour directly into this strainer. So I am pouring right out of the bottle. 
And I love these size paints because you do use a lot of paint. So these are eight ounces. So you get a lot of pour right out of, a lot of paint pouring out of these bottles. Like they're a great size. Like our traditional paint, um, like Folk Art and Apple Barrel traditionally is like two ounces, our most popular. Um, but I love that you can get eight ounces of this. Just gonna open that real quick. Okay. And again, I am just pouring right into my strainer. Okay. I'm gonna put some more yellow in there. So I'm just doing yellow and pink. And again, you kinda, it starts to blend a little bit. You get that really pretty coral color. So you can see I'm just using a traditional strainer and the more you move it, the more movement you get in your painting, but it creates a shape. So you can move it to get more um, lines. So the more you move it, the more pattern that you get. So again, you can just wash this off. It's easy clean up with soap and water and then you can swirl it with that starburst shape stay. So you see all those beautiful lines and starbursts that you got from the strainer. Again, a completely different look. So, so many fun different things that you can do. And none of them are right, none of them are wrong. It's just really fun to do. And again, I love that, that we used the bright pink and the yellow, and we ended up, again, with a really pretty coral color. So, different than even what I mixed. So, it, it blends enough that you, it's almost like a dirty pour. It gets a little bit muddy and blends and muted, but it's still not, um, it's still very vibrant, if you guys can see that, and the detail. So that strainer gives it all those lines and almost like veins in it. So it's really beautiful. Okay. And then we also have one more surface I wanna show you guys. We have got some great, we talked a little bit about resin in the beginning that you can use resin with pouring. It's a great add-on because you can seal your projects or add that extra you know, pop of gloss to your projects once your pouring is done. You can also pour with this. So you could use this with your folk art paints to pour with. So we have some great surfaces also um, that are great for resin and for pouring. So I just wanna show you, um, we've got a couple surfaces. Just wanna show you, this is a great round surface and it's got like two channels in it. So you can do so many fun things with this. But again, I love these channels like we use the wood surface um, on its back because then you can pour directly into it and it contains that paint for you so it's not all you know oozing out and spilling it's just really contained and clean so it's a different type of pour so I am going to pour directly into this and just show you guys how easy so I'm gonna pour my blue and again I am just pouring directly onto my surface And again, this guy keeps getting clogged for some reason. So I'm just going to pour right on there. Always when you're trying to do something. And then I'm going to use my green. I'm going to pour directly into this. So this kind of looks like the world to me or like a globe. So I'm going to kind of go for that look. Okay. And then I'm going to use, we only have a little bit of white left in this one. So I'm just going to add my white. And then I love this because look, this just moves inside of the surface and fills up those channels. So then you can go back and you can add um, resin to this or you can just let it dry. And you can go over the whole surface. Mine kind of spilled out there depending how much you have in there. You can also do a fun technique where you take a craft stick or popsicle stick and you can actually run it through your pouring and create different lines. So you can do zigzags. And again, it just creates, this totally looks like the ocean in the world to me. But again, you can do so many different color combinations. And then you can let this dry and you could craft on this, you can stencil on it, you could base coat this. You could even let this dry, tape it off and pour another color on this. You can personalize it. And you can also then pour resin over it, which is a great option. 
Um, I have a couple other projects just here. So this is another great surface we poured directly on our heart using this kit. So again, you've got that beautiful aqua, the green, and the yellow that all come in the five-piece folk art premix pouring kit. We've got some more canvases here. So just want to show you all the different things, all the different techniques that you can do. And each one is different, and it's so fun to do. It's, again, great for summer, whether you're pouring on wood or canvas or rocks. It's really fun. Um, so you guys want to grab your folk art premixed pouring paint kit, your acrylic paint kit. It's five colors, white, yellow, bright pink, aqua, and green. And you can use it on a number of surfaces. It's premixed, so we've already done that for you. You can still personalize your colors and use it with your pouring medium if you want to customize, you know, with your folk art or apple barrel paint. But again, I showed you how many beautiful colors that you can mix just like that. So I love this kit that it's so versatile, even though it's just five colors. So you guys, thank you so much for joining us.